All right, so what I've got here is the uh, SCAD external waste tank monitor. Um, essentially, this thing allows you to attach these, I guess we're aluminum um, strips, kind of like pieces of tape on the outside of your, uh, I guess, poly uh, waste tank. If you have a bad waste tank monitor that is just reading straight full or empty all the time. Right now it says empty because I have the uh, power disconnected. Previously it would read straight full and um, you know would never change with the level. Like for instance, water is reading half right now. Gray should be empty. So this is all working correctly. The waste tank just isn't. So this thing allows you to uh, attach these to the outside of the uh, poly tank and then you can mount this uh, external monitor anywhere you want. It'll show it empty to full. So it's really just some basic wiring here. Um, you basically have your ground and your power. Um, these black wires are interchangeable. The other black one goes to the, uh, the other black wire goes to the tank sensor leads here. So we have ground and power here. We have this black one, which will go to the tank sensor. We have the blue one, which will go to this blue one for the tank sensor. This orange one is just a, uh, a power for the uh, an alarm if you want one. I'll probably not won't use that. And then this red one is going to be this red one right here is going to be the uh, the sensor power, which is going to be the white here. So pretty basic. Then this fuse is going to just go in line between this red wire and the uh, power coming in. So if you look in the back in here underneath my stairs what you're gonna see is that down here we have a poly tank uh really hard to get access to we can get a little better access to the tank so you can see the tank bottom right here the top of it right here really hard to get to but we should be able to stick a uh you know, aluminum tape on that side and this side. Then coming up top, you can see the top of the tank. Right back up in there is the old sensor, kind of like a dipstick. Um, just could not find a replacement for that. This right here is the uh, power lead that was feeding the waste tank. So you have a power, a ground, and then I'm gonna assume just two sensor wires. I don't know, we're gonna test it here real quick. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do here is uh, take some wire connectors and uh, connect up all our wires. These red ones will be good. I think these are, uh, what, 18 to 22 gauge? So we want our power wire. Fused. Sometimes I like to bend it over like this if it's a little long. Gives it a little more thickness. I know there's probably not the right compass, but it works well for me. I'll put the other one in for a fuse.
so now that that's done, we can go ahead and hook these up. Blue to blue, black to black, and remember our white to our uh, sensor here is uh, to the red. All right, now we just need to uh, shrink these down. All right, so again, it's a little hard to see in there, but I clearly have a, a, a tank height of more than 10 inches. We're talking from the bottom down in here all the way up to the top. It's probably around 12 to 14 inches. So according to the directions, according to the directions, if your foil height is gonna, foil height is gonna be more than 10 inches, then you need this two inch strip here, which it comes uh, supplied in, and then just do a half inch from the top and a half inch from the bottom with a gap in between. So if your foil height is gonna be 12 to 14 inches, then you want about a 1.75 to two inch gap. All right, so there's my two pieces there. It's gonna be a little hard to see here, but right down here, there's a, a, a little aluminum mount and the tank is actually divided in three sections. So what I'm gonna have to do is put the two pieces on this section and another one right here as far away as, as I can to get that uh, one and a, and a three quarter inch gap. All right, so you, as you can see, um, all the sensors and stuff like that are, are um, stuck up on the tank. One of the mistakes I made was making these wires just connect directly up to it. You really should have an extension, but right now I'm just looking for a proof of concept. I just want to see if it works. Um, so we're going to take our power wires just temporarily here and just tap into our uh, vacuum pump right there and uh, see if she works. And I'll come back later and uh, we'll wire this all up uh, officially. All right, so it's uh, just wired up temporarily there. Just got the power wire just laying in those uh, leads there. We just tap the tank. And this says it's about, what, an eighth or so? That actually seems about right um, with what we have in this thing. So honestly, the default settings kind of work for my tank. Uh, I have a kind of rectangular tank. So as you can see, the uh, default settings are uh, external, eight inches or longer, rectangular tank. And uh, this is the alarm type, which I'm not really worried about that. All I'm concerned about is uh, pressing a button and seeing how full it is. If it's close to full, then I know I need to go empty it.